Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. I'm going to make a card tonight that I learned about in my card class. The card uses photo paper. So if you're like me, you might have a pack of photo paper. This is glossy photo paper. Um, when I would order my ink cartridges, they would send me free photo paper. And I was like, what am I going to do with all this photo paper? Because I certainly don't print off that many photos. I don't know too many people that do. So we're going to make a card similar to this one using the photo paper. But before we get started, I just wanted to encourage you to um, subscribe to my channel if you're new. And don't forget to click the bell so that you're reminded of future videos. And I'm letting you know that I have a blog. My blog is called thehopefulcrafter.blogspot.com and my Instagram is schultz551. So hopefully you can find me on those media places. I would love it if you would check out my blog. And um, I, I write a blog about the different cards that I make. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. What I've done is I have taken a circle die cut and made my stencil. Underneath here is the glossy paper. Now, one of the things that you have to do is use a dye ink. Dye ink works best for this technique. I don't have that many dye inks, but um, a while ago I purchased a set from scrap Scrapbooking Made Simple. These are made by Prima color philosophy dye ink and what's cool about these is they're ma they're magnetic Woo! and they stick together and they're labeled already so makes for a really nice system which is one of the reasons why I bought it because they're very handy all right so we'll start with this first color which is pink it's called frosting and I have some sponges that I used for creating this. The um, it's just it's just a sponge that I cut up because I don't have that many um, ink daubers, and the Ranger ink daubers didn't work very well. The blending from Ranger, the blending tools, the foam blending tools, this seemed to work better for some reason. So what I'm going to do is with my lightest color, just go across the top and let the ink transfer. Now, one thing about the dye-based inks, it's almost as if they just kind of lay on the surface. Um, and Plus, this is photo paper and it's glossy, so it's a lot different than when you work with regular paper. Okay, the next color that I'm using is called Soft Lilac. These ink pads come with a plastic cover. I've just been using one sponge for the same color families. It doesn't doesn't bother me that much to do that. I know some people would never do that, but it doesn't really bother me that much. I don't use these inks that much anyways, but they made for a really nice uh, project here tonight. Okay, so just, I just put a little bit more of that soft lilac on there. I'm just blending. It's not the same as regular paper, though. It's a little different, but the dye inks seem to work best. Okay, this color is called Amethyst. It's a nice deep purple. Okay, I'm just going to go in the middle here with some of that. You can see that it's got sort of a gradation a little bit. Okay, cover that up so I can save my ink for later. Um, the next color is called Hydrangea Petals. It's a nice, like, bluish purple. I'm going to switch to a different color sponge for this one. This is a much deeper color, so I just kind of start on the edge and just work my way into the middle. And then over to the side and back again. It's not the same as blending with paper. It's a different feeling, but it does work. It just, it's not going to be a perfect blend. 
And then finally, my last color is called Poison Love. It's a really nice gray color, which I like a lot. Um, and I have a gray sponge. And that's just uh, my last color on this circle. Okay. So, I used what I had. I didn't have the exact same colors that we used in my stamp club. Um, the colors they used were more of um, purple burgundy. But what I have worked. So, you open it up and look how nice that is. I think that makes for a really nice look. So I'm really pleased with how that turned out. You have to let it dry for a minute before you um, stamp on it. So I'm going to slowly peel the paper away from the stencil. And just shake this a little bit. Let it set here for a minute. I actually have one that's dry already. I just I don't want to take any chances and smear the one that I just made. So this is one that I blended earlier. You can see they're very similar. You know, no two are going to be exactly alike. So this is the one from earlier, and this is the one that I did just now. So the one from earlier, I'm going to make this card using the one from earlier. All right, so let me just get rid of some of this extra paper that I had underneath here. And we will get our flower. So I have this flower stamp from Unity Stamp Company. It's just a small um, echinacea flower. It's from Itty Bitty by Unity. And so I make it a stamp block. And I used archival ink um, because I want to make sure that the image adheres to this glossy paper. So I just have some archival ink here. And I ink up my stamp really nice, nice and juicy. I check it out just to make sure. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, so that's good. And then we will line up our circle and then line up our sentiment. just hold it down for a minute give it a chance to really adhere to the glossy paper don't move it but apply pressure oh that's really pretty I like that a lot um, it's not as bold as the one that I made in my stamp club but I like it I think it's it's a kind of dainty but I but it's what I had I you know use what I have so, um, we also would like to put a sentiment here. And this one says, I believe in you. And I don't know if it's going to fit. It might be a little bit too big. So, um, I have to pick a different sentiment. So, I'm going to look here and see what I have um, that would fit across there. I have this Simply Sentimental set from Brutus Monroe. It has a lot of great sentiments on it. I like the one at the bottom that says congratulations. I think that might look nice. Um, there's also one here that says thankful for you. That's nice too. I think that's the one that I'm going to pick. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to grab a acrylic block. Okay, line that up. Get my archival ink again. Push this to the side for a minute. Okay, so we've got a nice amount of ink on our stamp. Pull the picture back over again. Whoops, sorry. Going off screen a little bit. OK, 
Okay, and I'm just going to hold this for a second, give it a chance to adhere to the paper. Yeah, perfect. I mean, it's really nice. I like that a lot. This is such a cool technique. It's unique. You don't see it that often. I like it. All right, so I have a, um, this is Brutus Monroe cardstock. I think this is called Abergine. And then I have a black panel. And then what I'll do is take my photo paper and look, look at that. That's just beautiful. And what a nice way to use up photo paper. If you have photo paper that, you know, um, you received as well for free. Or um, you can even just go to the dollar store and buy a pack of photo paper. You know, it's not that expensive anymore. And the dollar store seems to stock those kind of things now. I'm just putting some adhesive onto this panel. I'm going to line this up. Okay. Hopefully this is dry. I want to make sure. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on the back of this. Hopefully I'm not smearing it. I would normally let it dry for a little bit longer, just in case. Okay, well, it didn't... It didn't affect it any, maybe just a little bit, but not too much. Okay, let's get this lined up. Oh, that looks really nice. What a beautiful card. So there you have it, guys. I'm going to continue making these. I'm going to make about four or five different ones. Um, earlier, I made one that says happy birthday. So that one turned out really nice, too. You know, so these are some really cool cards, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial that was really quick, but showed you something that you can do to use up your um, photo paper if you have it at home. Um, you can leave a comment below if you have any questions. Um, like I said, please hit subscribe and ring the bell so that you can be notified of future videos. I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch my video, and I look forward to doing another one soon. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.